Hey guys, this is Akhilesh from DataSense again. In the last video, we discussed how to combine multiple files from a folder and all the files were of exact same format. But in this video, we will learn how to combine multiple files which are not of exactly same format but similar format. And when I say similar format, what I mean is that the number of columns are not same, the information is same. Like you can see, first two columns are same in every file and then the number of months are varying. And if we simply append them one below other, then the monthly total sales will not be correct. So for that, we will follow a different technique. So let's start with Power Query. So we need to go to Get Data. So after you click on Get Data, you will see File section and inside that will go for Folder option. Click on Connect and then it will ask for the folder path. So I am going to take it from here and I will paste it here. When I click OK, it will try to connect to that folder. Now after this, you can see all the four files of the folder are there and then we will go for transform data. Now we are there in Power Query Editor and these are the four files. The name of the file is not important to us in this case because all the files were having first column as country column. So we can get rid of them. So we will just take first column and right click and then go for remove other columns. Now after this, we will use these double arrows to combine them. So when I click on those double arrows, you will see this window and it is asking which is your sample file and which sheet should I select. So you can go for sheet one because that's there in every file. Click OK. And now you can see it has generated a set of queries to help us combine the files. And this is the query we are currently in and it has combined the data from all the four files one below other and the issue is you can see here this is first of june that's july this is august okay and this is june again so the because the number of columns were different so this is not correct we need to combine them but before combining we should transform them in such a way that they all look same so let us go into some more details of this query so it is writing some queries here, but this is the sample transformation for each file which is happening. So we need to transform this sample file first so that for each file that process is followed. So first thing is I will take first row into headers. So my country and product will come and month names will come. Every promote headers is followed by change type. So I will remove them because the number of months are different in each file. So I don't want to go through the change type of those months because in some files they will be available in some files those months will not be available. So I will avoid that process. So I will do the data type later when I get all the files in the same format. Now for the country you can see only first row is showing the country name but we need it for all. So go to transform and here fill in downward direction. That's done. Now, other than the first two columns, all the other columns are nothing but it is the month and the sales in that month. So other than the first two columns, we will unpivot all other columns as we did in the last video. If you want to know more about the last video, check the video link on the top right corner. So we can select these two columns, right click and unpivot other columns. And now we have got only four columns and it doesn't matter how many months were there in that file. We will rename it as month and rest of the things are fine. Now if we go to data, so first is connecting to the source, removing other columns and then filtering if something hidden is there and then we are calling that function as per the sample file and that this function is helping us the transformation from binary content to tabular content. And after that, let us check the steps again. So remove other columns means get rid of content column. And now this is fine. When we expand it, you get to see the next step. So here, Oman, Qatar. So all the four files are having exactly same four columns. So we will not face that issue of different formats. I will remove this change data type here and I will do it again. So country and product, they are text month is a date and this column is a decimal column 
and after that once you are done you can click on close and apply so this will load the data from power query to power bi or full columns are there let us try to make a simple chart by country i will go for matrix so you can see we have four products and four countries tomorrow if your data changes just click on refresh and then it will update the numbers so that's all from my side on how to combine multiple files from a folder this is the second video in the series hope you found it useful please share this video with your friends and colleague and please mention your feedback in the comment section please hit the subscribe button and click on bell icon so that you can get regular updates on the upcoming videos thanks for watching see you in the next video